Welcome to Spark Online. Hi everybody, welcome to Spark Online. Uh, this week we're going to continue our talk on the fruits of the Spirit. So today we're going to talk about gentleness. Gentleness is being loving, tender, calm, and humble in the things that we do and say. Proverbs 15.1 says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So for today's object lesson, all we need is a bucket and some water balloons. I figure since it's still warm outside, we can take advantage and have a little fun. So here are the water balloons. I just filled up like 10 or 15 maybe. That should be enough. It'll be good. All right, so we grabbed our water balloons and we set them on our swing so they won't pop. So we're going to start with one balloon each. So each of you boys can grab a water balloon. Be very careful. All right, now stand right there. I would like you to throw them, stay right where you're at, throw them into this bucket and try to make it, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh. Come on. All right, your turn, buddy. Ooh. Oh. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Let's try it a different way. Okay, let's try to throw it into the bucket without it popping. Throw it gently. Big. Throw your. No, you throw your first. So we tried to throw it, and we were a little bit careless, and we didn't try really hard to be gentle. So, how about we try to gently set them in the bucket? so that they don't break. I'm gonna drop it in. Try to be gentle so it doesn't break. See how when you do it with gentleness, they stay full of water, right? That's kind of like how our words are when we talk to other people. If we use gentle words, then maybe we won't burst anybody's balloon. But if we use careless words, what happens if you use careless words? Pop. Hurt people's like feelings. This. Yep, you hurt people's feelings. So when we use harsh words or we're careless with our actions, it could hurt people's feelings and burst their balloon, right? Like this. <laughs> when we use gentleness instead of harsh words, we can spare people's feelings. We can make them feel good instead of feeling bad. I hope this small lesson on gentleness can help you to remember to be gentle this week. Join us next week. Thank you. See you next week. See you next week.